Hey bookworm family, it's Danny. Welcome to my channel. If you are new, thank you so much for joining me. If you have returned, thank you so much for coming back. Anyway, today's video is going to be a little bit different than videos I've done in the past. So if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, please go do that. It's at Danny's Book Corner 2018. And if you're not subscribed here, please go subscribe. Hit the red button. It's right down below. And then afterwards, go follow me on Instagram. See? It's a simple process. Anyway, if you guys aren't subscribed or followed to me on those things, please go do it because when I reach a thousand Instagram followers, I'm going to do an extreme Instagram controls my life. So please go follow me there. However, I'm also going to start doing more challenges on YouTube. So I've noticed that there's a real lack of challenges that relate to books. So I've decided to kind of come up with some of my own and try some stuff out based on some comments and stuff that I've been getting on Instagram and other things. So today's the first one that I'm trying. So on Instagram, I've gotten a lot of comments about why do you buy book boxes. As you guys know, I subscribe to many, many book boxes. I love them all. I think they're fantastic. Each book box comes with a brand new book and a bunch of bookish goods. It comes with about five or six bookish goods. Sometimes if you get a really expensive book box, it'll have about ten. So it kind of depends on which one you're subscribing to, how many things are in there. It also depends on the quality of the bookish items. I've had some really amazing, beautiful items, and I've also had some not so great ones. So somebody said on my Instagram, hey, I think that you could probably get all that stuff at the dollar store, so I don't know what you're so excited about. All right, my friend, challenge accepted. So I just want to show you guys a few of the really nice items I've gotten from book boxes in the past and show you how my dollar store items lived up to them. So some of the box, some of the items that I've gotten in boxes like this mug came from Owl Crate. It says bookworm and proud. It is super nice. I'm keeping my change in it right now. I have gotten book lights, which I know don't seem like expensive, but this is a really good quality book light. I've gotten keychains, various different keychains. I've gotten this beautiful tote bag from Page Habit with a library on it. I got this gorgeous, gorgeous, amazing pillowcase. How could you not love this? How could you think this is from the dollar store? Anyway, author signatures, whether in the book or on a little card, it comes with author notes. Some books come with, some book boxes come with devotionals. Depends. I've also gotten this beautiful bracelet from Four Anchors. So, and every book box comes with a brand new book. Okay, so usually they try to stick within the three month period of the release of a book, so usually it's about three months in. This is from an older page habit box, but it's also annotated and stuff like that. So again, these are things that I wouldn't have access to if I didn't subscribe to book boxes. I wouldn't have access to author's signatures or letters from the author or inside hints and stuff, and I wouldn't have access to these beautiful one-of-a-kind items. But anyways, since somebody said you could probably just go get all this stuff at the dollar store, I decided to give it a try. So. Let the challenge begin. I want to first say that I went in planning to get about 20 items. I was going to see if I could come up with like 20 bookish goods to go into this book box that I would create from dollar store items. Before we start, I want to say I am not selling this book box. Never would I sell this book box. I'm also not doing it as a giveaway. Most of this stuff is going to end up going to my niece and nephew because it's around their birthday time, so most of the stuff's going to go to them. But anyway, I have to say, I had to stretch a lot of what I considered to be bookish goods. Some of this is writer goods, so I'm also a writer, so I went with that. Um, some of them you got to hear me out on, okay? So first things first, I'm going to show you the items that I got, kind of talk about how I feel it measures up to um, book box items, and then you guys can kind of make your decisions on your own if you would rather subscribe to a beautiful book box like Page Habit, Owl Crate, Shelf Love Reads, Four Anchors, all these fun ones, or if you guys would like to do, just go to the dollar store and buy your own stuff. So you guys can make that decision, but I thought I'd go out and give it a try. So without further ado, here's my challenge. So first thing I got, and you have to hear me out on this one, already you have to hear me out on things, that's not a good sign, but I decided that for the sake of this book box, because you can't really do a theme. Like most book boxes come with themes, like all up all night reads or like summer love reads, stuff like that. Most book boxes come with themes. Everything in it is themed with that. 
Um, you can't do that at the dollar store. So <laughs> I kind of just had to piece some stuff together that I thought could kind of go into like a random-ish book box with no real study theme. So first item I got, I decided that comic books will count as books. So because there's a lot of comic book stuff at the dollar store. So I decided comic books count. So we went with this Wonder Woman cup. This is a high quality dollar plastic cup. As you can see, the comparison between mug and plastic cup. It's good stuff right there. I, I, I don't know which one I'd rather have. Hmm. So cup was the first item. Next item. I had to look this up and make sure that it was a book series. I know it's a TV series, but apparently it is also a book series. So that being said, I had to go to the children's section to get it because I was like, hmm, it'd be fun if I could find a puzzle that was book related. Well, there were no puzzles for adults that were book related. And then there were no puzzles for kids that were book related. So we went with a kid's puzzle that is also a book, even though it's mostly known for being a TV show. But we went with Peppa Pig. It's a 16 piece puzzle guy. Guys, I think I could put this together. I'm not really sure. Um, but yeah, got a Peppa Pig puzzle because yeah, it's it's bookish because there's Peppa Pig books. So that was my theory behind that one. Next, this is more of a writer good, but I went and I got these um, really interesting looking pencil sharpeners that are fish and it came in a pack of two so great deal i actually don't hate this product but before i can get excited about it we're gonna make sure it works so we're gonna open it up and we're gonna see if we can actually sharpen a pencil with this so i got my little red fish here and i got a pencil that i broke the tip off of to see if this works so i really hope it works because otherwise my pencil will not have a tip but let's see we're gonna sharpen it's called the piranha sharpener again two for one so good deal there um, let's see. Okay, so it's doing that thing where like it sharpens the wood, but not the pencil. Okay, there we go. Okay, so it sharpens. It, it's, I would say, so far, of the three items I've held up, I, I could see this being in a book box. Definitely, I could see if you did like a summer or like under the sea themed book box, this being in there. I, I could get behind that. Okay, so one successful item out of three so far. Let's keep going. The next thing I have is another writer good because as a writer I find myself needing this a lot. It is whiteout tape. So it's not even whiteout brand, it's dollar store brand. So I don't know what that is. Jot. It's Jot brand. It's not whiteout brand. So again, we're gonna test this item before I get too excited about it. Um, I don't think I would see this in a book box in real life unless I like got a writer's book box but even so I feel like most writers use computers these days like I do so I don't know if I would actually use this but we're gonna test it out um we're gonna test it out on the back of our little piranha thing here so let's see so you're supposed to just press it down and slide it am I pressing it the wrong way okay so it works. You press it down, you slide it. It covers up things, so. Oh, that didn't work very well. I guess you can't hold it at a weird angle. Okay, you guys can kind of get the gist. Okay, maybe not. Maybe you can't. Okay, yeah, now it's working again. It's just the weird angle. It's not working, but anyway, so it works. Um, Still think the piranha sharpeners would be the most likely to be in a real book box. I think this is a little bit of a stretch, but it works, so that's good. Next, as you guys can see, these are some great stuff compared to the handmade pillowcase and stuff like that, but okay. So next, I have a pen, and this one I am considering a bookish good, not a writer good, because I use this pen for my writing journal, so I'm hoping it works because my other one is kind of dying, but it's one of those ones with like the multiple colors, so when I keep my writing journal, which I have... A typed up book log, I have my Instagram book log, and then I have a writing journal which is a little bit more like what song does this book remind me of and stuff like that. It's a little bit more journaly than like facts and writings and stuff like that. But anyways, I use this because like I highlight things in different colors or like write things in different colors. And the blue works, the red works, the green works, 
and the black works. So all the colors work, good to go. I would actually be very happy if I found this in a book box just because I do use it for my reading journal. And I feel like everybody likes these pens. Like these pens totally remind me of my childhood with all the different colors on them. So, so yes for the Piranha Sharpener, yes for the pen. So far, two items that I feel like are pretty accurate to a book box. Um, so as you guys can see, I've, I've done really well with this dollar store challenge so far. So let's keep going. Anyway. Um, so the next thing I got is some stickers and I got two different types of packs of stickers. So the first one I got were these ones, these animal stickers, because I thought, okay, if you did like an animal themed book box, there'd be animal stickers in it. But also I got these for my book box because they kind of looked like National Geographic. And I was like, okay, National Geographic has like books and like photograph books and stuff like that. So I went with that for a book box. And then I also found these um, Fruits of the Spirit. So if you guys have read the Bible or gone to church or anything like that, you probably know what the Fruits of the Spirits are. But um, I decided that the Bible's a book. So therefore, it counts as a bookish good. So these are little Fruits of the Spirit stickers. So yeah, we got our National Geographic and our Fruits of the Spirit stickers. Sure. So far, we have a very random book box. So the next thing I got is going along with the Bible theme of like Bible's a book so see what we can find uh Moses action figure I don't know what you need a Moses action figure for never once have I been like hmm you know what the Bible could use some action figures yeah I could like act out my Bible verses I guess but Moses action figure it is a book so therefore I would say that this is like the closest to an actual bookish good because it's from a book and because well it's 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 Moses and it's an action figure and it's toy so I'd say this is probably the closest to an actual bookish good that I could find and that's that's accurate because the remaining stuff is not nearly as close as this for a bookish good so Moses guys anyway so I got a couple more things. So this is a Iron Man washcloth. And again, I said comic books count. So this is a little bit more of the like graphic or the cartoony like comic booky looking Iron Man, not really like the Avengers kind of looking Iron Man that's like more modernized with Robert Downey Jr. and stuff. So this is a magic towel. So you put it in water and it turns into a washcloth. I'm not actually going to do that on screen because I'm going to give this to my nephew and I kind of want him to do it himself because I think he'd think it's fun. But yeah, so washcloth. And so another pen I got, and I actually liked this as a writer's good um, because I thought it was really cute and really fun for writing but it's like supposed to look like a little quill but it's just this little little pen with a feather on it let's see if it works we'll use our tester sheet again it works it works so this is a good one I think that this I, I, I could see this being in a book box too so and oh I have I have two more things so I had to get a notebook because I feel like a lot of book boxes come with notebooks too so I got this one it says can't touch this it's got little cactuses on it super cute but it's just this little flip up notebook again I could see this being in writers or in a book box just because I mean notebooks and pens and all that stuff go with reading and writing so I can always see notebooks and stuff so <sighs> then you guys know I collect bookmarks so I was like hey I'm gonna look for a bookmark in the entire stinking dollar store, the only bookmarks I could find are these reader highlighter bookmarks. So what these are, I'm going to take them out and show you how they work, but they come with different little prints on them. I'm going to take this fairy one. Um, these are going to go to my friend afterwards because she's a teacher and could actually probably use these, but these are so kids know what line to stay on in their book. So if we open up Dread Nation here, if I put this, I'm going to stay on that line and then after I finish that line I'll move it down. Uh, this is the only bookmark I could find in the whole dollar store. I thought of anything I'd come up with like a plethora of bookmarks but no these little reader highlighter bookmarks they're cool definitely great for kids reading but not really for me because I don't need to highlight my lines as I read. Anyway the last 
But definitely not least thing I got at the dollar store is an actual book because every book box needs a book. Now, I just want to say before I even tell you what the book is, that this book came out in 2015. This was the most modern book I could find on the shelf. However, it is on my TBR list, so that's good. But it is Emancipated by M.G. Rays. So it's about six teenagers who are liberated from their parents, and they all have secrets to hide. So this has actually been on my TBR for a while. I did actually want to read this book, so I'm kind of glad I found it, especially at the dollar store, because it was a dollar, but Again, it's from 2015, so definitely not getting modern books. So in comparison, for those who said you could go out and find a book box at the dollar store, um, I say no, because the most bookish good I could find was Moses. That was actually based off a book. Um, other stuff was kind of like a stretch, like filler goods, like the notebooks and pens. Like when you get book boxes and like they have that one big item and then they need some like filler goods, like you get notebooks and pens and stuff like that. Um, and like even the bookmarks weren't good. So, and the book is super out of date. It's super out of date. At least with book boxes, you get one that's like three months old. So I tried the challenge. I don't know what you guys think. Maybe you prefer the dollar store goods and if that's your life, go for it. I definitely think that if you don't have a ton of money to be spending on book boxes, then buying books from the dollar store is the way to go. That's it. That's, that's, that's what I have for you from the dollar store haul. So if you guys really liked the dollar store goods, check the Dollar Tree. Um, and if you guys want to see me try to do this again at like different stores like Five Below or the 99 Cent City, let me know and I will definitely give it another go and see what I could find there. But to end this video, we're going to answer my question of the week, which is a picture of the cover called Do Not Open This Book by Andy Lee. And my question was, this book clearly states not to open it, but it doesn't give us the reason. The last full text message you sent someone is the reason you can't open this book. What's your reason? Start with, do not open this book because blank. My answer was, do not open this book because I'll just eat in the car. So apparently I couldn't open the book because I'd just be eating in the car. Um, and there weren't too many great answers on this one. Some of them were a little inappropriate and I deleted them. So the one that I will give a shout out for is to peachy underscore reads. And she said, do not open this book because I was wondering with the wind and the rain. So don't open a book like that. So anyways, if you guys go onto my Instagram, I always have a question of the week and I will give some shout outs in here. But yeah, there was only one really good one for this week. So congratulations, peachy reads on getting your shout out. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I really want to do more challenges. So if you guys have any suggestions for challenges, let me know in the comments below or on my Instagram because you guys are now subscribed and following to both of those. I know that. Anyway, have a great day and talk to you guys soon.